previously on Big Brother. The two Survivor Champions, Riley and Carissa, were playing both sides. They were both a part of the two big alliances in the house, two and a half winners, comprised of Dylan and Janae, and the underdog alliance with Matthew and Ian. We're basically just going with whoever we want to. And while Riley gravitated towards Matthew's alliance, Carissa wanted in with Dylan. At the HOH competition, Dylan was the smartest of them all when it came to trivia, and Matthew got the reign of ice power, which allowed him to choose the replacement nominee if the veto was played. Yeah. But after Matthew refused to tell Dylan about his power, Dylan put Matthew up, along with block warmer Ian. This forced Carissa and Riley to pick a side. Oh, we still kind of have the power numbers, not as much, but hmm. I think... The only thing that really matters is that we agree. Because if we disagree, then the vote's 50-50 split. Right. As long as we agree, we're the majority. So we have to do the same thing. At the veto comp, Matthew sung his way to victory and removed himself from the block. And with the reign of ice power, he made the biggest move of the season thus far and put up Janae. But even though Dylan had given her his heart, the very next day, Janae was sent away. Janae, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thanks, guys. Tonight, a classic challenge returns. And with the entire house set on taking him out, will Dylan survive? Expect the unexpected tonight, only on Big Brother. As long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. the thought process I think as in like Janae was my number one and you wanted to separate us is that why it happened or what's up with that okay so Dylan told me Dylan. that he was gonna or you're Dylan <laughs> Riley told me that he was gonna vote Janae and I was literally in the diary room I am going to vote out Ian oh shoot wait they'll see that someone voted for Ian oh my gosh I might be changing my vote after we've already started filming I hate to say this but I'm voting out Janae like, so I just, I don't care like why you changed your mind, I'm just wondering why, like the original thought process. Because we had a final four secured. Before I made a final four with you, I made a final four with Chris and Matt. And uh, I, I stay, like, I'm okay with playing uh, with uh, a corrupt game, I'm okay going sideways, but the first final four I made, I felt more solid about it. The main thing I'm worried about is if either uh, if any of my alliance members decide to take a flip and go along with Dylan, make a big move and go against me. It's the only thing I'm worried about. I'm not too worried though. I know that Ian, um, Matt, and Carissa all play loyal games. I've been with Carissa from the start, not too worried about her. Um, and I think Matt wants to win out, so um, I feel pretty good. I'm, I'm not gonna like sit here and like, you know, like beg for you to keep me. Yeah. No, I get right. it. Like, yeah. make your case for sure. Yeah. Um, I think Matt will win if he gets to a final two. Like, he's like faced so much adversity, like, throughout right. this entire game. And I know your thing is being loyal. Yeah. But if you can be loyal all you want and sit next to him in the final two, and he, and he will be in the final two. He will the unanimously final, beat you. Matt or Carissa. They could both maybe do something um, to damage my game, but. In the end, I, I feel I feel pretty confident. You're making an argument for for Matt, but I could, I mean, if I'm taking someone to the final two, I could take Ian, I could take um, Carissa. I mean, what? Um, I I'm just saying, I think Matt 
will win challenges more than I will. And towards the end, if he just wins out, he's not gonna take either. He's not gonna take you. Right. And I don't think he's gonna take Carissa. I think he'll take Ian. And do you think you can win at this point? Oh, yeah. I think I have a pretty good chance. Last minute decision, I was like, I'm gonna put my loyalty in this group and yeah. I did. So, I don't know, Appreciate just wanted to put that out there that yeah. I took a leap. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. that immensely. 2 1 would have made it possibly completely fractured everything. Right, right. Because that's like who voted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, what's our further game plan with this group? So, of war? we need to make it doesn't matter. We can put Dylan up on block. Because he can't win head of house. He can't win head of house. house. Yeah, yeah. That makes us really safe. But if he wins the veto, we then... just can't let him win the veto. If yeah. he wins the veto, someone has to go from us. Yep. But as long as he doesn't win the veto, we're good. So it was sitting there in Ian Riley's hand. We could choose whatever team we wanted. And I wanted to go with you two, and that had been my plan from the start. And and then Riley's like, I, I'm not budging because Dylan can't play in the next HOH, so I want to go with the other team. And I was literally like, okay, but are you okay if I don't put my knife in their back? Because I, wa I still want to go with Dylan and Janae, even though I know no matter what I'll lose. And then I went back there, and I realized that they will know that I went against what they were talking about. So you guys knew about the advantage? Oh yeah. And you lied in my face? Yeah. It's an intense game. Yeah, it is. We're it still is. homies, right, Dylan? Yes, we're still homies. <laughs> After Dylan goes Ian, and then Riley, and then us two. I'm down. And I'm down. totally good with you winning. We're both I'm just like, I totally don't even want to win. Like, I, I, would, I would be fine with you winning too. I, I, I just, I, I don't know what's going to happen these last couple rounds, because, I mean, I understand that you're probably going to make final two deals with everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah, because like, <laughs> actually, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, actually I haven't made a plan with anyone, especially not Ian. I don't think I'll even try that okay, anymore. Okay, sure, sure. Um, and Riley might be convinced, but Dylan wants to get Riley back on his side and then do like a me Dylan Riley thing. Mm, okay, so like, yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna, that's what I'm talking to him about, to warn him about that. Right. I guess I genuinely do want to work with you, but I don't know if I have the means to turn them. To turn them? So, yeah, I'll talk I, around and see what I can do. I, I'll talk to Matthew, but I kind of think I did exactly what I didn't want to do and isolate him off, and I sort of with the HOH thing. I wish you guys would have just told me that you guys knew what the HOH was. There was nothing I, we could do though. Like, I, no, not what, not what the HOH, the but the ring of ice. ice. But like, there was no way of preventing one of you getting put on the block. One of who getting on the block? Um, oh. one of, like, it, no matter what happened, it would have ended up yeah. genetic. You. I haven't I haven't talked to any, any final twos with anyone, and I remember we talked either. we talked early in the day about the fact that we're both social threats, and so it'd be fun for that to be <laughs> the final two and have that be a really cool showdown. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I would understand if you want if you were going to try to gun for me before then, but it would so be a, it would be a good off. showdown. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> cool. I don't I don't know who would necessarily have the advantage in, in a final two like that. So it'd just be a really cool way to close. It. So if if that's the kind of way you want play the end of the game, I would love to do that, because I think that'd be really yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I feel betrayed, but I'm like, the only little bit of trust I have is in you, but you could be lying about the whole Janae thing, and just, but I don't oh. know. And I'm definitely not lying about that. I don't know, at this point, like... Fair enough. Like, I don't know, you're my number one, but <laughs> you're not my number one, so I understand if it doesn't work out. Welcome, contestants, to... Blend it up two. In Big Brother, we did blend it up one, where the contestants had to make a disgusting drink and then give it to formerly evicted player. Yeah. I'm winning this one. Okay, all right, that's that's good. Maybe dump it out now. <laughs> Let's get it, baby. Connor threw up. <laughs> Don't throw up. <laughs> oh, 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 here it comes. But this time, it's a little bit different. Here's what's going to happen. You guys will each get to roll these dice. This one is going to be for drinks, and this one is going to be for food. You're going to roll the dice, and then the drink and food will be blended into that thing, and then you have to drink it. <laughs> and if you get it down, you'll move on to round two. The final person who gets the most stuff down will win HOH. Radical! Okay. First matchup will be Riley taking on Ian. So Riley, you will roll your dice first. 
the gas dice. Two five. Two five. Your two is vegetable juice. Yeah. You'll get number five, which is ramen. Oh, ramen. Yes, that's great. That's a, yeah. that's a good one. That's, that's the good spiciest one. ramen to ever exist. He can shotgun it. Don't it. Try. Try. Hey, don't, don't drink it yet. Don't drink it yet. Ian, yeah. you can roll now. Ooh. I it. Which one's the uh the one with the six oh. and it's wait, wait, wait. that one? Oh. So it smells like a spicy one. Drinks of four. Oh. So eggnog yeah. and five. Which is the I can't do yeah. spice, so I'm not doing this. I'm gonna yeah. back out of the challenge, so if I he really drinks it, he, he wins ours. Okay. Just do a little tiny bit. You won! Okay. <laughs> That's spicy, oh my god. Marissa <laughs> and Matt. Up next. Matthew, he, you go for like a story. Which one is which? Six and this five. The drinks. So this one is the drinks. So you got water. So Matthew, really? you, you got water and oh, the peppers. Oh water yeah, and I'll peppers. Do that. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, that's a lot of pepper juice. That's just a lot of vinegar, my dude. Mix it up real good. Where is it going? Your serving. That's a full in. glass, though. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you got All the two. dice. All right. Three you and got two. three and two. two ranch. Three. You got ranch and pig's feet. It's not pig's feet or slime, so I might be able to handle it. Pig's feet is two, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, it is pig's feet. Shit. Do you just want to back out? <laughs> no, blend it up. I'll see what I can handle. All right. Say it with me, guys. It's time to, to blend, blend it. it. So here is our Cheers. first showdown. The first person to get it down moves on to the next round where they will face off against Riley. Oh god, I have to do this again? <laughs> Three, win? two, one, drink. You can't plug it. <laughs> oh. oh. It's Here, Chris. Why is it so <laughs> That's more sense. He keeps getting expecting. on it. She needs a power, power through. Power There's so much more to say. Power through. Do it, Chris. Who's winning? Who's got it? That's a good second round. Plug it up. Are you done? No, Matthew's done. Matthew's yeah, done. Yeah, he's done. Carissa, oh, you gave it a good fight. Oh, I'll good good fight. Good good fight. But that means it's Riley it was so versus Matthew. Matthew got I don't know one which and five. Uh, this one is drink, so you got one, which is mustard. mustard. Screw that. Got I'm going to roll now, yeah? Yes, Riley will roll. <laughs> five and two. Is that the same thing? thing? Can I re uh, Five is water, two is Wait, Wait, pig's feet. feet. Water and pig's feet is what that is. All right, Riley versus Matthew. On your marks. You're going to need some water. Yeah, I know. Set, I know. Go. Oh, Riley. Oh, Riley. Oh, Riley. Oh, Riley. Oh, Riley. Oh, my God. Oh, he's dead. <coughs> What's that? Matthew. Matthew's done. Just like that, Matthew wins the head of household for this round. You will get to nominate two people. Ian, this round's reign of ice was the first loser. So Ian, you must go to the reign of ice now. Welcome back, Ian. Howdy. Welcome back Hi, to the Ice Cave. Ian. I think um, you're our first repeat you, uh, repeat visitor. Repeat yeah. viewer. Oh, visitor, well, for yeah. this reign of ice, Ian, you must use it this round. Okay. Basically, your reign of ice, you will not be allowed to play the POV. Mm, you cannot participate in the POV. Okay. I'm not allowed to give it to someone? No. That's no. for you. Okay. No, I not. am very happy about that. Oh, okay, well then you well, guys I'm actually kind of upset I can't participate in the POV because... But at least it's a blatantly a punishment. Oh, f*** me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ian. We, uh, it's like a sauna in here every single time. Uh, this is the Ice still, Kingdom. Uh, glad the rain of ice wasn't something really important, but it kind of is because now Dylan has a better chance of winning. Which is the only way this all breaks up, is if he has a veto. And uh, yeah, 
Hopefully it goes well. Oh, it's because yeah. because you I'm lost. Ice king. That's right. This round, governing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the qualifications this time were the loops. Ooh, that yeah. sucks. Well, I feel bad that I left Riley, but I also only had him sit that much because of it. And uh, besides that, I have to make my case to make sure I'm not on the thing. How is that an advantage? Is that it's seems not, like a disadvantage. It's a, it's a disadvantage. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Super great to have head of household, which means I'm guaranteed to be final four. And um, up to this point, what I had envisioned for final five was that by any means possible, Dylan would go home. But Dylan came to me and talked to me with a really convincing plea. Really, my only pitch is that Riley and Ian, when I was talking to them, they said there's no way Matthew's making it past four. Yeah. So you'd have to win out to go to final two. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you didn't nominate me or if, if you had some convincing to do where you didn't have me go out this round, I would still be target number one. Right. And if you did that for me, then you know, I'd, I'd be willing to take it to the end of that one. Something that was very serious to me coming into this game was to figure out some way to make it up to Dylan for what I did to him in Survivor 3. I know that may not be the best gameplay, but there's things that are more important than gameplay. I think Riley um, can get the votes, even though he's won before, just mm -hmm. because he's been playing both sides and he's got, and he's a really good talker, yeah. and Ian is just a charismatic person. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know, that's my pitch. Sure, uh, sure. I know you've had a Final Four deal, but um, I think it'd be a pretty big move. I'm open to it. I'm not just like yeah. hearing this and immediately saying no in my mind, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. absolutely open to it. So even if Matthew decides not to nominate me after my talk, I'm sure you guys saw that. Um, uh, I'm just, I still gotta play my heart out for this POV and whatever it is, I'm just hoping it's physically based because that's generally where I, where I excel. But um, yeah, that's sort of my uh, thought process at this point. I like the three strongest players in the game right now are you, Carissa, and me. That's my opinion. It might be Riley. Okay. Riley's been playing both sides. Sure. Not under the radar. Right, right. I think he's played the best game of all of us. Sure. He's sure. been on the block like three times and received zero votes. Yeah, yeah. Because people just trusted him. That I trusted him that much. Yeah. Sure. Maybe Matthew will spare me. If he does, I'm 100% on taking him to the end because I don't necessarily believe he should bring the best players, but I think it sort of, like, you, you can make amends to somebody and that means a lot, especially in your jury speech. I absolutely not hear you. I'm making a lot of sense in here. So, one hundred percent, my word is my bond. If you like, help me here, then I will take you again. Sure, sure. I'll I'll shake up. That. Yeah. yeah. I listened seriously, and I didn't commit one way or the other, um, but I needed to just think about it. But I told him that I was hearing him and really genuinely considering it. Then I went and talked to Carissa, who, unless she's playing me, is my number one right now. So Dylan was making a pitch to me because he knows that my first thought would be to, to put him on the block. So his pitch to me was that if I, if I, yeah, if I don't put him on the block this time, um, that he would repay the favor. He has said in the previous competition if someone does something like that for him, that he repays the favor. We were just vibing on the idea of actually working with Dylan at this late point in the game. I think it's down a three to two alliance would be better than a four to a one. Mm -hmm. So I think we should gain up with Dylan now. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and put Riley and Ian on the block, basically. Yeah, yeah. And then it's easy and there's no like controversy or any concept that can potentially go home. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, that Riley and Ian on the block is what I was thinking. Then, so if you're, I, I, still you, you're my number one okay. final two choice. Like that's still that's still the top thing. So I can save Dylan now, but I want him out next. But the person I want to sit with in final two is Carissa, not Dylan, um, because I think I can beat her because she's a previous winner and I'm not. Um, that I think is going to be a key for me. But Chris and I need to shield each other since we're both strong social threats. She gave me the pinky promise that we're going to final two. So I really hope that that holds true. I was already considering like it and going to propose it to him. So then when he said it, I was like, that's perfect. Yeah, we're just like all here clicking together. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, because like in the end, if it makes you more comfortable, like a four to one, then we're just stuck in a four where we don't know who we trust. But a three to two, put those two on the block. Easy. Okay, so who's the target? I think he can because he can't play in the POV. Okay. Yeah, because he's automatically not allowed to play in the POV. That's his right advice. Yeah, really so he's so 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 put on next. Yeah. Riley's a good result. Yeah. I trust you guys like 100%. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, Bradley wins the Right. Hotel. So let's still vote for Ian. Put me but on. Who? Put me on. It's fine. That would seem to make the. You can put me on too. Would, yeah, that would. 
I mean, I'm, I'm willing to do Ryan it because it'll, trust it'll seem right and sure. you guys will keep their trust. Regardless, if it does or not, I've accomplished what I wanted to do today, which is repairing some relationships, making up for some things, and just having a great time with these people that I only see at these competitions because I don't live up here in Colorado. But it's really fun to be back and to be hanging out with everyone. So, yeah. so you're gonna nominate Ian and I. You can't compete. It doesn't matter who wins. You keep it the same. And then you and Riley vote. If Riley wants to keep Ian, then it's tied. And then you remake it, and Ian goes home. Mm, okay. Let's assume okay, sure. that Ian picks Riley to be his. He is going to. Everybody's playing and because I think. Should you? Well, no. Shots? Everybody's playing. It's oh, five people. Five of us, so I'm U H O H. Right. Okay. Yeah. I I was doing all this strategy, and then I was like, wait a minute. It doesn't. It's somehow it's similar. Person, you get a lot. You like so. think like 20 <laughs> steps ahead, and then you get losses <laughs> between like 15 and 10. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. kind of do. After a hard-fought food-eating battle, <laughs> Matthew, surprisingly was the head of household. I was as surprised as anyone. <laughs> so Matthew, you now have the power to nominate two people. So, who's going on the block? I won't have to take as much time as I did last time. This isn't, I've thought this through a little bit more <laughs> and I actually do know what I'm gonna do now as I head into this. So it's hard because I've enjoyed playing the game with, with all of you guys. This is a cool final five, but the two people that I'm sending to the block are Dylan and Ian. Okay, so. You five, uh, since it's the final five, will play unless there's anything weird. I am the ice queen of this one. <laughs> 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 Government Arendelle takes much of my time. Because of this, I will not be participating in the POV. I'll be watching from an ice castle. Please tell me that's what it actually says word for word. No. <laughs> Dang it! Okay. Ian will not be participating in the power of veto. Everybody else is fair game. Okay, let's go upstairs and we'll do the next challenge right now. All right guys, welcome <coughs> to the Power of Veto challenge. This is a drinking challenge, a shot glass drinking challenge. And Ian will not be able to play because of his, his busy life in the city of Arendelle. So, you'll have to down all six of these cups and the first person to have all of them down wins. So this is Sprite Cranberry, eggnog, apple cider, water, sparkling juice, and disgusting green stuff. On your marks, get set, go. Lots of spilling is happening. Still making some progress. Riley making some real progress. Let's see. This was the apple cider. Oh, yeah. Done. Dylan's done. Power of veto. <laughs> Going to Dylan. I'm so close. Congratulations, Dylan. You have the power of veto. All right. Hopefully, this helps you in your game. Why is it warm? It was essential to his game. Who's the Who's going to be the renom when I use this? Is it going to oh. be Carissa or Riley? I I was going to ask if you would. Decided. Okay. I, I um, don't really know. <laughs> Carissa says Riley's the bigger threat. Right. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of agree with her. I think. Uh, would that mean that we vote for Riley? That means we would vote Riley out. Oh, okay. Because I still have. Because you mind. get to choose the renom if it's if it's Carissa or Riley. Oh yeah, I get to choose, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's not like a couple rounds ago. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only two people who can go over you and me. And I think. From what I've heard from that, and then I think we're pretty really safe because people don't want Ian out. So I think either one of us is safe. Sure. Yeah, for sure. And I guess. And then it's going to be for Ian. No matter which one of us gets put out. Oh, wow. Cool. It's totally up to you who you want to rename. on. If it's, if it's Carissa, then Ian goes home. Mm -hmm. Because what'll happen? Well. Depending on if you suddenly wanted Carissa out, which would be kind of interesting. I don't. I <laughs> okay. Don't. All right, that's I'm good, glad to hear. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I think the better move would be Riley now. And then we would actually get him out. Because sorry, I've had in mind that it doesn't matter what happens on the other seat because Ian is up there and we're going for Ian. No, but. we can renominate. We can. The renom could be Riley. Mm -hmm. That would expose our alliance. But then it would be me, you, and Carissa versus Ian for this next H O H. Mm. You wouldn't be able to compete, but it would be me and Carissa versus Ian. Right, right. Depending on what it is, I think we have a good shot at sure. being Ian yeah. compared to Riley. Sure. So, okay. 
And then, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, then it's you need that to get still. Right. He gets fired one. off. Then it's final three. And then I am so content. I do not like. I'm not thinking about that part of the game because I don't care what happens. Right. I, if I go home third, I'm totally good. But yeah, I like that song too because can you imagine how cool the costume would just be fun too? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If it was Ian. I think we have a better chance of beating Ian in a challenge than Riley. Okay. And yeah. Riley would probably be a little like vengeful if we went for Ian because he'd know that you would mm. um, flip on them. So just so get Riley, get out, Riley out and then leave me and Krista to beat sure. Ian. And if it's and if Ian does win that one, it'll probably be me and you, and then we just fight for POV. If I'm able to block off, I'll put up my other two because he's too much for a smart player. So you can have me win that. Okay, and I think, right. I don't know what Matthew's thinking because I forgot to talk about it, so, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, we have to be our choice talking about we don't have much to discuss, it seems. Yeah, it's just one way or another. Yeah, it just depends on what he does. I'm glad we're working together. This is, this is cool, I'm glad this is working out here at the end, regardless of what happens in these yeah. last couple rounds. This, uh, uh, and even though you you did save yourself from, from the block, right. so it's like you didn't, yeah, didn't, you didn't really need me at I this point, but... But, but all I, of this is real, though, I, you know yeah, what I mean? Of so <laughs> It was real, like, before this. Because, exactly, exactly. I, know, I, I did not think I was put in that competition. Mm, yeah. I don't know. All right, I'm cool. putting on the same page. Yep, uh, yep. sounds good. <laughs> um, Riley or Ian, yep. um, I yep, think that makes the Riley's sense. a better decision, but if you want to vote out Ian, I understand. Yes. <laughs> as soon as Dylan moves himself, I'm going to put Rack because it's my decision, so I'm going to put Rack I just sure. want, I was going to plead my case that I die. I love Riley, but if it's between me and the first, yeah, you yeah. have to go for yourself. Yeah, so yeah. that That's was the, all I needed to. Yep, the plan is to renom Riley, and then I'm not able to vote then, yeah. so then it's just Carissa and Dylan who will vote with the voting for Riley, as far as I understand. Yeah, so. yeah Carissa, like, Pinky yeah. promised me. Cool, that cool, that, cool. Which, yeah, yeah. Know, means a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. Awesome, thank you. Okay, cool, sounds good, yep. we're on the same page. Contestants, Dylan, you won the power of veto. I assume you're playing that for yourself. Um, actually, I am playing it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, Dylan, uh, you have played the power of veto. Matthew, you will have to put one of the other people on the block. Yep. Uh, this is it's hard, but uh, my decision is Riley. Okay, Riley's on the block. So that means that uh, Dylan and Carissa will be voting. Riley and Ian to uh, who will Riley Ian Riley Ian Riley, why don't you uh, stand up and plead your case to these two? You know, I um, I uh, I've been strong to this alliance from the from the get go. Never wavered from it, and um, I want to go out with strong players. I want to go out with a, a good top three. So, yeah, that's about it. Ian. Um, well, I feel like I'm in this spot a lot, um, so I guess, uh, again, I just hope you pick who you think gives, who you want to go with, whether that be who you think should win or who you think you can beat. Thank you. Carissa, Dylan, uh, you guys will now go up to the diary room and cast your votes. <laughs> I have a... Riley, because his betrayal and his uh, his voting out of my girlfriend kind of really uh, hurt my heart. Actually, I thought that a uh, two and a half winners alliance was going to go far, and I really saw us going to the final four. But plans have rescheduled, and Riley, you dug your own grave. I'm voting to evict Riley because honestly, I want Riley to stay in the game. I like Matthew's idea of a strong Final Four who actually played a good game. Um, and I want to get rid of Ian. But if I don't, like, the decision will be left up to Matthew, which he doesn't want already, and it just looks like I wasn't loyal to my team, so I'm doing something I don't want to do to try to prove loyalty to my team because I want them to trust me. With a vote of two to zero, Riley, you have benefited from the Big Brother house. I knew it. <laughs> that was Thank deep, guys. That was deep. <laughs> Damn. All right. Do the black dice more cursed. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> I picked the black dice. This was the picked it. Riley, first. make your final remarks and then start heading out. You know, it was a gay game. I, uh, I understand <laughs> the move. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Good game, bud. Yeah, that was good. Okay. That was good. You know, I feel a little betrayed. My my Lions blindsided me pretty good. Um, I trusted Carissa 100%. I thought we were like, you know, ride or die, but like, you know, she did what she had to do. Honestly, probably a smart move. I thought I had it in the bag. Um, I really thought if she hadn't, if they hadn't made that move to vote me out, I feel like I wouldn't win the game. So, honestly, smart on their part. Um, but yeah, best of luck to the remaining competitors. And catch me for the return in Survivor Season 4. Dylan, Ian, Carissa, and Matthew. Only two episodes remain until one is crowned the winner. Will the new Final Three Alliance crumble? Plus, the reign of ice royalty comes to judge yet again. But only one will win the semifinals and the final power of veto. Next time on Big Brother.